Guys, when you're prepared, you're prepared for life. And sometimes it's not something that's prepper related or tactical or a survival kit. It can be just what I like to call a necessities kit. This is just the EDC necessities, everyday carry stuff that I have in case I need some things. Now, there's a couple of things that inspired me to do this video. One, I had a patron to get in touch with me from Patreon and just brought this up. And I thought it was an excellent idea. Uh, just the things that you might need in your little kit you know how many times have you ever needed some chapstick or you needed some fingernail clippers and this is what this is about uh, but it was funny i was at the range the other day and i knew i had a multi-tool couldn't find it i even have a full go back and i just didn't see the multi-tool i had taken it out and laid it down in my car i found it when i got home and this just kind of keeps everything together it needs to be very small uh, this is a Maxpedition MRZ pouch. They make a ton of different type pouches, uh, but you might just have some extra bag laying around. <laughs> you could have a Ziploc bag for that matter. But we're gonna look through some of the items. Guys, this is a very personalized kit. It's something that you need to put together based on what you find yourself needing on a regular basis. Again, guys, any pouch will do. This little Maxpedition MRZ is excellent. And so, you know, you could, but it's fairly expensive. You can use anything. I mean, you could use a Ziploc bag if you wanted to. Now, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, this is a good solid kit. It has a nice cover to it. It's kind of a hard cover, but yet it's soft. I love all the organization that goes on with these kind of pouches. And so that, that is one of the things that I really like. I can find things very easily. Uh, first thing is we have a flashlight. Now I carry an EDC flashlight, but uh, definitely this is a nice little bright I1R EOS from Olight. This is rechargeable, which I really like. So I do have a battery backup right here, uh, and you know there's so many different ones out there. This just happens to be one I got from SP Tactical. Two ports, and uh, I've got my charging cable inside this little pouch, which I would recommend having you know your phone cable as well. But I picked this one because it's really short, very easy and compact. Now, if you're carrying a flashlight that needs a battery, you can carry extra batteries. If they're rechargeable, obviously you can use the battery bank. Next, we have some Q-tips and Band-Aids. And these are just some simple things. You know, if you cut yourself, you've got the Band-Aids, Q-tips, you can use them for all kinds of things. And we have a small multi-tool. And this is a little SOG. Uh, it's really small enough, but yet this is large enough to be capable. And so I really like that. Uh, it makes it kind of nice to be able to pop this out, use it for what I need to, and there are other tools in here. Now I do have a little flash drive that I carry with me. Uh, I can put certain documents on here. I don't want to put anything though that can get stolen, uh, you know, in case somebody gets into the car. But you can do a lot with this, and then if I need to download files, I can do that as well. But again, guys, this is suitable to what you do. Now on this side we have some chapstick, which is always handy. And I have a small Victorinox, and this is, you know, just one of the basics what I do like about it is it does have scissors. And so, you know, scissors seems to be something that I use on a regular basis. And then we have a regular blade and a file. Now, scissors like this are actually really good as well. Uh, and these are collapsible, so they pop out. And it gives you a little more surface for the blades than it does with the Victorinox. Also, I like to have some way to start fire. And the Bic lighter is the most convenient. It's, they're usually very reliable. Uh, and so, you know, that's one thing that I really like about having a little bit of fire. Now, I have a fire kit in my survival kit, but this goes just right here in case I just need to grab it. Now, fingernail clippers are probably something that you don't need until you need them, and then you do need them. Uh, this is a little Victorinox, and this is a pretty cool little setup. Uh, bring it out, and we have our fingernail clippers here, and then I have a file back here, and it closes down into a very small package. And then it just slips in this little case. Makes this really handy. Here in the back, I have a space pen. And I also have a write in the rain pad. Always good to have something to write on. And the space pen, it's all aluminum, so I could actually use this as a self-defense option. Now, in the inner compartment, we also have a bottle opener. And there's a lot of different types, but you guys know bottle openers can be very handy. And also I have a small bag with some Advil and some Benadryl in case I have some kind of allergic reaction or sinuses. And guys, that's pretty much it. You can tailor your kit to whatever your needs are. What do you find that you need every day and you found yourself looking for it at times? Uh, and this will just kind of wrap everything up into one place. Just make sure you put it back so you keep it very organized.
And again, guys, this is not a survival kit. It's not a get home kit. Uh, you know, this is definitely for what you do on an everyday basis. And that's all, folks. This really needs to be the size to fit right in your glove box or console. You might want to check it to make sure. And now you have everything you need right there. And again, guys, prepare for life. And those little items that you find yourself using on a regular basis, just keep them handy. It keeps you out of your bug out bag, keeps you out of your go bag and your survival kits. And you just use these items as you need them just to make life a little better. Guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider, one of the best resources on the web. They use many of the top names in the survival world that are contributors there. We upload one video that's exclusive to the Insider every week. I have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.